In this video, we're going to look at an app that uses Apprise, React, Redux, and Firebase in order to allow multiple users to work and electronically sign PDFs. There's a companion video to this one that demonstrates how to configure Firebase and the code required to use this app. You'll find a link to that video in the comments below. For now though, let's start by signing up a user. We'll call them Andy, and we'll give them an email address of andy at aardvark.test. And we'll use the password 123456. That isn't a very good password, of course, and in fact Chrome will warn us that it's a weak password. We can ignore that for now, and I won't show that dialog again in this video. Now let's create another user called Cassie, and we'll give them the email address of cassie at capybara.test. And again, we'll use the password of 123456 and then click on Sign Up. We're now automatically signed in as Cassie, so let's sign out again and then sign back in as Andy. This is Andy's homepage. We can see there's a list of documents to sign, an option to prepare a document, and a list of documents that have already been signed. At the moment, of course, there's nothing to in those lists, but we're about to change that. So let's prepare a document for signing. We need to specify who's going to sign the document. So let's say Cassie and enter her email address of cassie at capybara.test and click on add user. We could add another user if we wish, but for now, we'll just continue. Now we're ready to upload a document. And this is a sales and purchase agreement that I downloaded from the Library of Congress. You can see that the PDF has now been loaded into a prize web viewer. But this is a highly customized version of the web viewer UI with many of the usual elements removed. I've also added buttons to the app that interact directly with the document viewer object in order to allow me to add a signature, text or date to the PDF rather than doing so from the web viewer UI. OK, let's go to the bottom of the document and then click on Add Signature and drag that in where we want it signed. We can resize the field. And then let's add another one for Date and again we'll resize that field. When we're ready, we can click on Send and we can see that the placeholders have been replaced with the way that the PDF will look at the time that it's actually signed. As part of the process, it's now being sent up to Firebase with changes made to the database and to the files stored in the bucket. If we now log out as Andy and log back in as Cassie, we can see on Cassie's homepage that there's now a document for us to sign that was created by Andy on the 12th of February, 2025. So click on Sign. And within Web Viewer, the document's now loaded. It's quite a big document and maybe Cassie doesn't want to read all of it because she's seen it before. So she can click on Next Field, which will take us to the fields that need to be signed. She can click on the Signature field, enter a value, click on Create, and that will be added to the PDF. She can also click on the Date field and enter Today. When she's finished, she clicks on Complete Signing. The changes are stored in Firebase. Cassie's homepage no longer shows any documents for her to sign because she's already done them all. If she now signs out and Andy signs back in, then he can see that now there's a document that needs to be reviewed. He can also see who signed it, in this case Cassie, and when. So if he clicks on View and he scrolls down the document, he'll find that at the bottom of the document in the signature field, there's now a signature and also the date. He can now either download the file to store it, or he can say he's done viewing, which takes him back to his home page. Now this is quite a simple app, and you could extend it to do many other things. You could add annotations to the PDF interactively, or digital signatures backed with a digital certificate, or apply redactions. But this is a great place to start, so check out the source code and the blogs and the videos that go with it. Explore the functionality, dive into it, get yourself a license, and if you've got any problems, reach out to us on Discord.
we're here to help. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.